In this quick video, I'm going to show you two different ways on how you can take a screenshot on your iPhone 15 or 15 Pro devices. So if you have the regular iPhone 15 or 15 Plus, or the iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max devices, then there are two different ways on how you can take a screenshot. Before we start, I have to mention that this will also work if you have the iPhone 14 or iPhone 13 devices, so just follow my steps if you use an older model of the iPhone. The first way is the easiest way, and you can take a screenshot by simply clicking on the volume up and power buttons at the same time, and the phone will take a picture on whatever you have on your screen. So one more time, click the volume up and the power, or lock button at the same time, and you will take a screenshot. You can then tap on the screenshot which will be at the bottom left of the screen, and that will open your screenshot editor where you can crop it, you can draw over some specific part which you want to highlight and all that other stuff. The screenshot will automatically be saved to your photo gallery, even if you don't open this editor. But if we open the editor like I did, and if we tap on the Done option at the top left corner of the screen, you will have a couple of different options where you can save the screenshot to your camera roll, you can save it to the Files app and a few more things. But if you can't take a screenshot this way, maybe your volume up or power button are broken, then I'll show you another way on how to take a screenshot without using any buttons. You want to open the settings on your iPhone, then go over to the Accessibility section. Now, tap on the Touch option right here, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom until you can see the Back Tap option. You can then select the Double Tap and the Triple Tap option. I suggest that you select the Double Tap because it's easier to take a screenshot this way, and you'll get to this page. Just find the Screenshot option from this list and make sure that it is selected. Now we just have to double tap with our finger at the back of our iPhone, and the iPhone will take a screenshot. So just tap two times somewhere below your camera and above the Apple logo, and that is going to take a picture of our screen, and it will save it to the photo gallery automatically. This double or triple tap option is pretty useful if your buttons aren't working, and you can assign any of the two to take a screenshot for you. You can also map it to do other things, like lock your device, turn on the flashlight, and many more things from the list. So if the first method doesn't work for you, then second one will. Just tap the back of your iPhone twice and you will take a screenshot. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.